I skipped beginner, all right? Beginner is just take one chiller, mix it with your putty, and you'll get yellow to white, red to white, blue to white. We went right to novice. Novice was mix two chillers to create a secondary color, and then with that secondary color, you go to white. Now, we're gonna make it more interesting. We're gonna dive in to intermediate. Woo! Here's one, green to blue. That's not one that you can buy. So now you're getting into something that Crazy Aaron's doesn't sell. You're gonna make it on your own. We open up our tin, we take our uncolored putty, and we follow our instructions. And it says that we need a yellow chiller and a blue thriller. We're gonna take some yellow chiller. You know, when you're dealing with primary colors, it's always good to know that blue and red have a certain, I'll use the word density, a certain amount of them goes a long way. But yellow is special, and it's the frustration of every graphic designer and every painter because yellow looks great on its own, but it doesn't have a lot of density. So you need a lot more yellow to get yellow versus blue and red. And the same is true with your Mix By Me Hypercolor Thinking Putty Kit. So I'm gonna use a good amount of yellow. I think I'm gonna actually use a kind of a heap amount because that's gonna give us the yellow that we need. And I'm gonna start mixing that in to my putty. And then I'm gonna use my blue thriller. Knowing that yellow is easily overpowered by blue, I'm gonna use a smaller, smaller amount of blue. Probably this is more like a glob size rather than a heap. And we're gonna start mixing it together. Now, everybody knows yellow and blue make green. And you're going to see it's going to start turning green. But as it gets warmer and warmer and the yellow disappears, it's going to turn more blue. You can see it's, it's pretty blue. It's a little bit greeny, so I'm gonna add a little more blue thriller just to blue it up. And then once I've done that, oh well, yeah, now you're starting to get some of that, that iridescence, that shiny effect with this blue. We're gonna put it on the ice and we're gonna see what that cold color looks like. So let's just give that a moment. Look at that. Look at that. That's almost a yellowy green to blue. I'm gonna do the two sides just like this and then I'm gonna mix them, twist them so you can see it even better. All right, so look at that. You can see the color difference right there. So now you've made a hyper color that's really nothing like anything Crazy Aaron makes. And you can put it in here. And then of course, we can color it in. What name should we give it? Any ideas? You're gonna put them in the comments? Because I guarantee you the name I'm gonna come up with is not the name you would. So comment right now, before I say it. Wait for it, okay. I'm going to call it Green Grass Surprise. No, wait, I already did a surprise. I don't wanna do another surprise. I'm gonna call it Grass and Sky. There you go. All right, so Grass and I'm gonna need my light blue pencil. I'm gonna need my light blue pencil here. Grass and Sky. Gonna make blue. I'm gonna give it kind of a crosshatch pattern this time. And then I'm gonna color this in. And I'm gonna add to this green a little bit of yellow because I do think it's a yellowy green. And there's a hyper color. That was easy. <laughs>